Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. At the end of last episode, our main hoe Lyra gave us some Pokeballs, so me and my buddy Fampy here are gonna go ahead and put those bad boys to use, see if we can't add another member to the team. So the first encounter we come across is the only thing we can catch in this route. What's it gonna be? It is a Rampardos at level 3. Okay, okay. Powerful, I like it. Not the, uh, not an ideal type, but whatever, because we already have Fampy, but okay. So he intimidates us, he has the Intimidate ability, that's... That's different. I'm gonna hit him with a fake out. Rampardo, it's funny because Rampardo actually looks like he would be one of those mons that would have Intimidate naturally, but definitely doesn't. Let's. Okay, so since I was Intimidated, you think I could hit it with a Seed Bomb? I don't think a Seed Bomb would kill it. I... Fuck it, I'm going for it. This thing's probably gonna be pretty difficult to catch, catch, especially in a Pokeball, but. Ooh, the Seed Bomb knocks it down right into the red, perfectly just where we needed it. Unfortunately, it uses Dig, so. I can't throw a Pokeball at it yet, I have to just go for a fake out, and take a dig. Okay, so now I can throw some balls at your face, let's do it. Come on, Rampardos. Let's see if the Pokeballs Lyra gave us actually work. Damn it. I thought I was gonna get it first try. Sludge Bomb's gonna probably poison me eventually, this thing has fucking Sludge Bomb. Interesting, interesting. Two, three. Fuck! Are you serious? You gonna tease me like that, bro? Really, bro? Really, bro? We can do it. Come on, Pokeball. There it is. Fuck! Oh my god. Two in a row. Okay, well. I have two Pokeballs left. Let's just hope for the best here. I feel like this is the lucky one right here. Nope, okay, alright. What the hell? Rampardos does not want to be caught, confirmed. Last try, you know, fucking Rampardos, I would give you a great home, bro. Yes! Got it with the last Pokeball, oh my god. So Rampardos was caught, holy shit. Yet it was added to the Pokedex. Its skull withstands impacts of any magnitude, as a result, its brain never gets the chance to grow. <laughs> I'm sorry about that little pea brain. Okay, well, the first thing that comes to mind is nicknaming this thing Dan after my buddy A Drive. His team is the St. Louis Rampardos, so you know what? I'm naming you Dan. <laughs> Head smash. All right, let's take a look at our new, uh, our newest addition to the team here. Quiet nature, capable of taking hits. Has intimidate and no sludge bomb and dig. So actually, you know, really not that bad. That's a good, that's a good addition to the team. Weak to the same shit is done, or, uh, it's freaking fampy, but, you know, whatever. Come across an Aggron level 2 here, you know what, I'm just gonna cross chop it. And missed, oh, fuck. Cross chop again, there we go, okay. <laughs> See you later, Aggron. That would have been a good thing to come across, too. Would not have been mad about having an Aggron. Oh, shit, we can actually go in here and catch a new Pokemon, too. But, I don't have any more Pokeballs. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm going to run back to Cherry Grove. Heal up my Pokemon. Ooh, fucking wild Pidgeot. What? I don't really want to battle that thing because it's probably gonna pull out something crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, let's go catch. Let's go uh, catch a new Pokemon in that one area. I'm gonna heal up, buy some Pokeballs, <coughs> and go uh, catch a new Mon. So so then we'll have three hopefully. So let's rest these mofos. Thank you, Nurse Joy. And all right. So I think I have enough money for at least like ten Pokeballs. I should at least. What's up, bro? Give me your Pokeballs. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get 10 of these. Very nice. And yeah, so before continuing on north of Cherry Grove, we're going to <clears throat> go back to that little opening. See if there's anything interesting in there. I know there's like, in the regular game, there's like Geodudes and shit, but I wonder what's gonna be over there when it's randomized. So exciting. Fucking Rampardos, you know what? I'm gonna actually just kill you. Fake out, seed bomb, yo bitch ass. Aha! See, that one's not as badass as mine. Mine didn't die from that shit. Alright, so here's where I was talking about what's happening, guy. You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to take a shortcut. Cool, thanks. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. Well, alright then, let's do it. So, Route 46. I can catch one Pokemon here. What is it gonna be? First encounter. 
Is it Cherim? Or Cherubi, sorry. Ch <laughs> Cherubi. Okay, that's that's kind of interesting. That's, um... Thank God, it's probably going to do a lot of damage. Holy shit. Cute, charm, infatuated Rickroll. What the fuck? Rickroll, you just going to fall in love like that, bro? Well, I just will throw a Pokeball at it. Like I said, I mean, you can use all the Pokemon you can get, especially early on in a Nuzlocke. It definitely comes in handy. And what the fuck? Really going to break free like that? Chatter crit. This thing knows fucking chatter. There it is. Yeah. Alright, Cherubi was cut. <clears throat> it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to train this thing up from level 2, but, I mean, it's it's better than having nothing, I guess. Evolves by sucking the energy out of the small ball where it had been storing nutrients. Well, <laughs> this Pokemon is literally cherries. What the hell should we nickname Cherubi? Um, Alright, it's decided. <laughs> it shall be nicknamed Cheerio. So I can sound funny when I say it. I'd be like, Cheerio, mate. Alright, cool. So we got ourselves a Cherim. Let's check this thing out here. Freaking Cherubi, sorry. It only knows Chatter. It's its only move, and it has cute charm. So overall, not the best... Not the best thing, but you should try a different route sometimes. Never know what Pokemon they're going to get. Okay, let's see what else there is in this grass, because there's probably going to be something awesome. Of course, I end up with the fucking cherries. Oop, let's actually put Dan in front here. There's a fucking dinosaur chasing me. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so, okay, another Cherubi. Intimidate that motherfucker, since I already know that it only has chatter as a move. I can literally sit here. I could probably, this is probably a decent place to train for Ampardos. What else we got? And a Togetic. You're telling me I could have had a Togetic. But I ended up with a fucking Cherubi. Oh, Zen Headbutt. Ouch, bruh. Sky Uppercut. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna probably actually just grind here until I grow a level with Rampardos. Probably worth it. Ooh, Glammeow. Not bad, not bad. Sludge Bomb, crit. And we grew to level 4. Okay, well, <laughs> our job here is done. Let's continue. So the good part about that is we did get a, a pretty much a free Pokemon there. And then we can go above Cherry Grove and we can catch a Pokemon there. So let me just run away from this dinosaur real quick. Fucking chasing me. Oh, oh god. Sunflora. Should I just, should I just sludge bomb this shit? Poison jab, okay. Thank you for not having anything scary. Ooh, that experience though. Oh my god, so many wild Pokemon. And another Rampardos. So at least I know... Oh fuck, he's gonna dig first. Haha! -ha. Oh wait, no, that's not that's not what I needed. No, oh my god. That was not what I needed. Fuck, bro. Use a quick potion as he sludge bombs. Haha! -ha. Now I dig. Now he digs. And I, what, what the... What the why, am I, why am I getting so fucked on these digs? Jesus Christ, I'm just running. <laughs> that was terrible. Damn it, Rampardos. Okay, well, at least we can now heal, and we have enough Pokeballs to go catch something else. Look at us just adding to the team. It's been like nine minutes into the episode, and I haven't gotten past where I, where I left off, really, but at least I caught new Pokemon. Okay. So we're just supposed to head north on Cherry Grove, really the only place to go. And Route 30, we can catch a new Pokemon. So our first encounter is the only thing we can catch. What's it going to be? It is a Porygon. All right. So, level 3 Porygon. Dan, let's, uh, okay, so intimidate that thing. And then Sludge Bomb shouldn't do a whole lot. Oh, fuck. Critical hit and the poison. No. No. That is not what I needed. Although I... Oh, he's going to fucking paralyze me. Don't die to this poison. Yes. I have one chance with a Pokeball. Or a Premier Ball. Should I use the Premier Ball or a Pokeball? I'm using the Premier Ball. Come on, Porygon. You have like one HP and you're poisoned. You can't get out of this Pokeball. You can't do it. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. You fucking piece of shit, Porygon. Oh my god. Are you serious? Now he's going to Nasty Plot. Fuck. This thing has a badass moveset, too. Well, damn. Porygon is going to go down. At least Dan gets some experience off it, though. It grows to level 5. Although, that kind of sucks balls because I wanted that Porygon. Damn it. Well, let's go ahead and heal so I can get rid of that damn 
paralyze on Rampardos. Fucking nasty pot, nasty plot Porygon would have been sweet if you learned some decent special attacks, but all of the level up moves are going to be completely random too, so you never know. Anyways, so we fucked up there, can't catch a Route 30 Pokemon, that's unfortunate, but we can continue on. Product is going to level up, honestly, so Porygon, I'm just going to, I'm going to dig your ass. I can't believe I got a crit and the poison, like, like what the fuck? Yeah, I was about to use Sky Attack, oh shit. Awesome, awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, so okay, so these guys... Wait, no, I just gotta keep going here, huh? Wish I had a damn fishing pole, that would be nice. Turtwig, level four. I am going to sludge bomb you. Haha! -ha. Look at Rampardos, putting in work. Dan's already feeling comfortable in the team. Alright, so we got ourselves our first trainer battle, that's not our rival. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak? Come on, let's battle. Yeah, I'm, I, there's a fucking dinosaur behind me, how could you say I look weak? Entrepreneur Mark, you are tripping. You got yourself a slack off, level four. Intimidate, very nice. Just gonna dig your ass. Oh, about to use close combat on me, are you? Oh shit. Luckily, I did get that intimidate. So, ooh, still did some damage though. And Sludge Bomb takes care of that thing. Dan grew to level six and learned False Swipe. <laughs> Not the move you want, other than for catching Pokemon. Can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. No. Fuck you, bro. I think that's actually Youngster Joey right there. Pretty sure. Anyways, um, should I have, probably should have bought some more potions. Would have probably been a good idea, although I do still have three left, so let's just use one on Dan real quick. And let's battle this guy also. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Yeah, the dinosaur behind me would indicate that yes, I am a Pokemon trainer. This guy has a, has a Magikarp at level two. Sweet, bro. What's he gonna do? Muddy Water? Oh, this thing actually has a water move, but luckily I was underground. Next is Pinsir. Oh, shit. Really, bro? You have a pincer? Let's see, what should I... I'm gonna bring out Rickroll and I'm gonna bounce this thing. Actually, fake out and then bounce. Haha. -ha. Ooh, Magnet Rise, huh? <laughs> and Aurora Beam, Jesus Christ. This whole randomized thing is really fucking me. That could've, that could've uh, been pretty bad, but alright. Continuing up here. We've got, uh, hello, are you a trainer? No, you are not. Hello? I'm not a trainer, <laughs> but if you look, one well, nice, prepare to battle. All right then, thank you for the uh, the advice. I've got a bug catcher here. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. You comparing me to a bug Pokemon, bro? Preschooler Anne here has a Roselia at level three. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna switch into Rick Roll. Would ordinarily be shitty against a Grass type, although. <laughs> Probably doesn't have any grass moves. So fake out does a lot, and bounce should finish it off. Yeah. That's right. Next is a Magby. Alright, interesting, interesting. Level 3 Magby. Catch this Intimidate, bitch. And jump kick. Kept going and crashed. Haha. -ha! Predicted your jump kick and hid underground. That's right. Okay, so po Mr. Pokemon's house was over that way. Route 31 here, we can actually catch a new Pokemon, sweet. So let's see what is going to be our first Pokemon in this route is... Kingdra. Oh, fuck yes. That is what I am talking about. Although I just don't know what uh, <laughs> what he's going to hit me with. I'm going to use Sludge Bomb, goes for Psybeam. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. Sludge Bomb, can I get a poison? Yeah, that's right, thank you. You ask and you shall receive. Okay, so since it's poisoned, I'm just gonna start hugging some balls at it. Having a Kingdra would be fucking amazing. If I could catch this Kingdra, I would be so happy. Okay, probably not in a Pokeball, though. Reversal, huh? Shit. Okay, well, at least in a couple turns, the poison's gonna knock it to the point where it might be catchable. I don't know. Kingdra, though. One. Okay, just, just one shake. Just one shake for me. And I'm gonna go for another reversal. That's fine, I can take another one. Let's throw another ball. I'm determined to catch you. Two? Fuck! Come on. I got two shakes. Fire punch? Holy shit, this Kingdra knows fire punch. Oh, no one I was burned. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, I don't know what to do here. 
I'm gonna use a potion. I'm gonna fire punch me again, critical hits, poison's not gonna kill it, I do have another chance. Alright, last chance here. Come on, Pokeball. You can do this. This is the lucky Pokeball right here. Two. Three. Yes! <laughs> yes, I just caught a Kingdra. <coughs> Fuck yeah. Whew, that was, that was a close one. Alright, it sleeps deep on the ocean floor to build its energy. It is said to cause tornadoes as it wakes. Well, alright then. What should I nickname Kingdra? Hmm. Seahorse. <laughs> Get it like whore because it's female? I don't know. I... <laughs> My nicknames are ridiculously stupid, but you already knew that. Anyways, Seahorse, mild nature, has the guts ability, Psy Beam Reversal, Fire Punch, and Thunder Wave. Not a bad moveset at all. In fact, I fucking like it. Hell yeah. Alright, Seahorse survived the poisoning. Thank you. And oh shit, ran into another Pokemon. It's a Zubat. Suppressed my Intimidate. Hey, fuck you, bruh. Anyways, I'm actually going to run back to the Poké Center just because I need to heal up. And then, uh... Probably going to start training up Seahorse, honestly. Because that thing is fucking badass. Actually, I probably could have gone to Mr. Pokémon's house. I think he... Does he heal you up? I don't know. Well, I'm all the way back now, so... It's a little bit too late. <laughs> my team looks like a fucking competitive team on that level. Two of them. I mean, Rampardos and Kingdra, but... If Fampy was a Dawn fan, we would be looking pretty damn powerful. So let's put Seahorse in front, level 4 guy. And alright, we shall continue. So I'm probably just going to grind up a little bit on the way there. Just look at Seahorse just bouncing up and down. <laughs> Octillery. Uh, I don't really want to waste my time fucking Sandstream Octillery. You so crazy. Speed running. And Porygon. Okay, actually, I'm gonna battle this thing. Reversal's not gonna do a whole lot, though. Ooh, about to fucking... <laughs> about to use Sky Attack. Sky Attack, Porygon. Doing damage. And Reversal takes it out. Reversal is depending on how much HP you have, right? Pretty sure. <clears throat> So yeah, Reversal. Becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. I was gonna say, Reversal probably would have been ideal to just use that whole time against that thing, but whatever. I also should have bought some fucking potions, too. I blew it. Bruh. I done goofed. Should have bought some fucking potions. Whatever, though. And we continue. Okay, so we're back to where... Back to where we caught our new seahorse. What do we got here? We have a Hariyama. Not bad. Perfect for Psybeam. Heart swap. What the fuck? That changes our abilities, right? Switch st oh, switch stat changes. <laughs> there was no stat changes, you crazy Hariyama. You tripping, bro. <laughs> so down goes that fat ass. And seahorse grew level 5. And level 6. <laughs> Holy shit, that was some type of experience right there. What's going on, guy? Dark Cave. If a Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Over here we have an item, which is a Space Mail. Fucking useless. So we have the Dark Cave here, where we can catch a new Pokemon, but I think I'm gonna wait until later to use that. What's up, guy? <laughs> huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. For a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. <laughs> it's an Apricorn tree. We're gonna go ahead and take this, uh, this here Apricorn. Black Apricorn. Nice, nice. Thank you. And, uh, what's going on, guy? Is this a new route? I don't even... I don't even know. Well, let's battle this guy. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Alright, let's do it then, guy. Preschooler Joe has four Pokemon. You got yourself a Poochiena. Level two. I'm gonna hit you with that re reversal. Goes for the Aqua Jets. What? <laughs> I want a Poochiena with Aqua Jet. No fair. And reversal takes that thing out. Next is a Manaphy. Holy shit. Manaphy, huh? What the hell should I use? Uh, I'm gonna go into Rickroll and Seed Bomb this bitch. It's always nice to switch into Rickroll because I can get the fake out and then the attack. Very nice. Down goes Manaphy. And Rickroll grew to level 10, wants to learn Defend Order. Ooh, that's actually fucking perfect for this thing. I'm gonna get rid of. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Bounce. Defend Order is gonna be really useful because I do have the simple ability on this thing. And another Fampy! Would you look at that? Only a level 2 one, though, so that's funny. And it has the same moveset. What the fuck? Seed Bomb takes that thing out. And Tyranitar. Fuck. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch into Rampardos. Get an Intimidate. And Dick. Aromatherapy. The fuck? Tyranitar? What are you thinking, bro? What are you thinking? Anyways, Rampardos is gonna go to level 7 off that. Very nice. And Preschooler Joe has been defeated. You're awesome. I like you. I look for Pokemon here every day. When I'm in the tall grass, I find kinds of berries. Um, nah, fucking. I don't wanna give all these people my phone number, man. Here we found a wave incense. So all these items I keep finding are absolutely damn useless. But, uh,. Anyways, guys, we're going to end the episode here. We shall continue on here to the left next time. Peace out.